So we're back at it today and I found the sticks that I was looking for to make hand drills. So let's go ahead and do that. To give an example of what I'm talking about, this here is actually a worn drill bit. And that's why I need to make some is because this is the last one I have and it's pretty worn out. So what is happening here is this is a stone tip, okay? And it's made out of black chert, but it's broken right there. And around here, which is also black, is asphaltum. Okay, so think like asphalt from your roads. We have that naturally occurring here in, in Southern California and that acts as an adhesive. And then this is just um, mule fat, just peeled mule fat split at the end. You can see the split right there. So you can wedge the stone in and then glue it in with asphaltum. And that's how they're made. All right, so here's how this works. This is one of those straight sticks I chose. In one end, we're gonna work, we're gonna wedge a notch, okay? So we're gonna take a stone tool and we're just gonna kinda take our time and just chew a little split. And we're gonna run that split probably down like that into this stick. And there, can you see right there the little knock? Okay, and then I switched tools and I took this little micro flake, chirp mic micro flake from my other projects and just kind of wedged it right in there. You can also make this sort of thing uh, for knocks on arrows, but that will be a different video. Okay, this is where things get a little tricky. I don't know if you can see it, but right here is a baby candle flame. And the idea is to take this dop stick, which is preloaded with asphaltum glue. We're gonna heat it up gently, gently over this baby flame. Oh, I can smell it already, see it smoking. Okay, and then we want to apply it like a glue to our arrowhead. Get it really gobbed up. This is so hard to do while filming, but we'll get there. Really fast we take it and jam it in here for a second and then let it dry okay all right after that see we've got the point see the point okay we've got the point inserted asphaltum on the inside now we're gonna put asphaltum all over the outside so same process same process you just warm it up and I want to get a good gob on there because I'm going to eventually um, reinforce it with twine wrapping embedded in that asphaltum, and that should be enough to keep the drill steady. Okay, and then um, all right, final adjusting. Now that everything is is still kind of warm, and I can. Ooh, I blew the candle out, better work fast. Um, set the tip so that it, it feels good and you feel like you can drill steadily. And then with fingers dipped in water, okay, you pat down and smooth out the asphaltum as it, and it cools and solidifies actually very quickly. It's already pretty solid. And then check and see if you wanna maybe put some more on there or, or what comes next. I think I do wanna put some more uh, I just want to do some final testing and make sure it drills well before I do that. And just for comparison's sake, you can see the, the profile view here of the two drill bits. This one is the old one. See how worn down it is? To like a nub. And then this one is the new one. So if I'm careful, I can make it last. Um, hopefully it doesn't break. It's strong enough. But what I'm going to do is make four or five or more of these at once so that as they, they'll inevitably break and grind down, but I'll have more conveniently available so I don't have to stop in the middle of a project. And there we go. 
quest completed. We have a new drill bit and we're ready to do some more projects, make holes. This opens up a lot of new areas, but that's another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and help uh, support our channel and help us grow. There you go.